This is Moore's Ford Bridge in the state of Georgia. Tyrone Brooks and others are marching down to this location. This is Walton County, Georgia. To every Walton County where this took pla takes place yesterday as well as today. For every Walton County, there's a Lowndes County, Georgia. To every Walton County, there is a Brooks County. There is a city, Madison, Florida, Douglas, Georgia. It does not matter where you go, you will always find the blood stains of the black man, woman, and their children. To every Moore's Fourth Road, or bridge, you'll find a nigger branch, like in Brooks County, wherein black people's blood are crying out in the same manner as those that burned in gas chambers and ovens in Germany. They ask us to forget. They ask us and tell us to move on. Yet nobody tells the Jews to forget the Holocaust. Nobody tell others, the Irish, to move on and forget what happened to them. And we realize that sooner or later in God's world, the God of our salvation, if, if, if there is a God, he must prove himself. He must prove himself by ensuring that right and righteousness have not been destroyed by the wicked hand of a hidden hand that's connected into the hand of the master plan of Satan himself. And so we must continue to struggle on behalf of the equipment 10 plus 2 and you. The week of terror in May of 1918 in Brooks and Lyons County, where 15 to 25 blacks were murdered outright, nothing done about it. The 35 jail deaths in Valdosta and Lyons County from 1994 to 2009. And from 2009 to 2014, no one knows and nobody's talking about it. Black police officer Earl Evans that was burned up in a police car. And he was a police officer, but he was dating a white woman. The Densons, the Wootons, drowned in a pond. Nothing has been done about it. Egerton murdered. Magic 95 radio station. Just to mention a few and the countless others that died while incarcerated back in the 70s, that Larry Moore, an individual that's retired, that he called me because his heart was pained about his roommate back in the 70s. They say he hung himself in the jail with his own belt. That retired military man say not so because his belt was in his room. He didn't even have a belt that night. To all of the pain and suffering inflicted upon us because we don't have a justice system in South Georgia. And we don't have a justice department that will listen to our cries. 
we sent the Justice Department information concerning the death of inmate Willie James Williams. Nothing happened. We sent the Justice Department videos about the equipment 10 plus 2 and how they are being made mockery of by a select few. They didn't do nothing about it. We haven't heard from them yet. Representative Tyrone Brooks can tell you more about that. Although we took statements about how black voters were intimidated by the GBI, nothing from the Justice Department. So nobody should be surprised by it taking so long for the Justice Department to do something about the death of Kendrick Johnson. It seems as if though they are telling us that the old 1857 Supreme Court ruling is still in effect that no black man have any rights that a white man has to respect. And so after we, our ancestors, along with white right people, suffered, bled, and died to get the right to vote, now the new Christians, the new patriots, such as Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, black female columnist Star Parker, Supreme Court Judge Clarence Thomas. And I'm going to say this again. I'd rather see no blacks at all on the Supreme Court than Clarence Thomas. And I don't say that out of hate. I say that based upon his voting record. I repeat, I'd rather see no blacks at all on the Supreme Court of the United States. I'd rather see none, zero, zilch, than Clarence Thomas. And the whole world should understand that we only have one black image on the Supreme Court in terms of a black man. We must question why so many juries are picked in South Georgia, in the state of Georgia, without any blacks on the jury. They just strike them and strike them and strike them like lightning strike a pine tree. And what even what is more sickening is that our black lawyers and our black judges are so damn scared they can't stand up for nothing in the black community as seen by the speakers on the stage today. Oh, they spoke it yesterday as well. It's not me. I'm only sending out what has already been said. So I'm here. They called me yesterday and said, Rhymes, come cover this for us. They didn't think no news media was going to be here. I thought some news media would be here, but I was kind of shocked that they not a single newspaper covering this that I could see. No TV station. But the voice of the people will be heard because too many of our sons and daughters served in the United States Armed Forces, and they served honorably to preserve the rights of foreigners. But what about the rights of the everyday common man? Bye-bye.